The second part of today is where we'll spend most of the time of class, and that's that we're going to be creating all these different elements that when we're done, we'll be able to put together to create a really cool scene. Now that we've been in Illustrator a few weeks, we have a lot of the fundamental skills to create pretty intricate things. So I want us to go back and rely on these things. So on the left here are all the elements you have to create. I put a blue background just so you can see the white clouds. Now if I zoom in here and I think about what makes up these shapes, we know that this is a little bit of shape builder magic, right? So if I took my ellipse tool, I made an ellipse, I'm intentionally gonna make it a different color. And I'm going to recommend that you rely on the shapes that I've given you to really get these pretty close. I'm going to line up this by resizing, kind of moving things around to make sure it lines up. Now that I've built my three shapes that I'm going to need to make this cloud, I'm going to select them all, go back to my handy dandy shape builder, make sure I hold down my modifier key, Alt, just get rid of these little pieces, and then combine these. And I'm going to use my odd dropper tool to steal the color. And you're basically doing this for each one of these pieces. Now, if you get stuck on how to create a shape, really think about this mixture of selection tool versus direct selection tool. For example, I know that this is rectangular, this shape, All right, if I steal this color, but it's not a flat triangle. It looks like some of the angles. I'm actually going to make this a different color just so you can see it really clearly. Some of these angles don't match up. So I would recommend taking my direct selection tool, taking my anchor point and pulling it and that will allow me to create this like geometric shape but that has anchor points slightly pulled. And then this is just a rec regular rectangle. Right? I would recommend grouping things that are together. Right? These are just three rectangular shapes with different colors, a circle with the stroke or two circles on top of one another. This is also some shape builder magic. Same with the little bush here of trees. And then these little things are gonna be the yard for your layout. Basically, this is a lot of direct selection tools, so please make sure you rely on these today. Now, when you've built all the pieces, you're going to end up having all the things to basically create this scene you see here. So I've given you this layout with some of the base things you need, and what you're going to end up doing is kind of bringing out all the shapes you made and laying them out here. You may need to resize, make copies, change the arrangement, and sometimes color things a different tone to get this layout. Be patient and save often. Good luck.